what can be. So your your prejudging is where your show is won and lost. Although in our shows, the the bodybuilding, the 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 routines do matter. But if you're an amazing poser and you have a routine and you look terrible, you're not going to win. So prejudging, do your homework. If if I had the choice to look awesome in the prejudging or awesome at night, I'd rather look better in the prejudging. Um, mm -hmm. you, you you have approximately a two to three hour break in between the evening show and the in the prejudging. I would say. Um, you want to always look at your, your schedule of events. You want to look at what, which classes are going on stage um, earlier and which show is late, which one is later. I like to time my competitors' food as according to, like when I competed in the last show I just did, the, it, was, it was a live judge. Everything was at nighttime. So I needed to time, I needed to make weight. But after that, I wanted to time my food so I could kind of fill out before I stepped on stage after I made weight. Um, you want to time your food according to how your prejudging is going to run. And same thing with your night show. And because your training partner was so smart. Yeah. You had the right. So I basically, to make my way, I had to really not eat anything until 3 p.m. that day when I laid weight. And that was two slices of pizza, which tasted really good. Um, what questions does anybody have about anything when it comes to com competing? I and hope I, can I just touch on one thing, though? Just there's one thing that it, it, it's kind of obnoxious to the judges. If you're trying to milk the stage, all right, go out there, do your thing, do what makes you look the best. Trying to blow kisses at the judges and well, another thing with bodybuilding, full crack, right. shot, yeah. full crack shots to the judges. You know, yeah. this that isn't going to get you any points. Yeah. That's going to pretty much put you right at the last because nobody wanted and, to see that. And bodybuilder Jim well, as the head judge, when he calls for frontal bicep, hit your shot. Don't, don't wind up and get into it because if if, if, he, if he's done and he's sick of that, he's going to say relax before you even hit your shot. So I guess I'll touch on Kathy. I know what Kathy's getting at. Bikini, and I know why this happens. You you see it, you say, oh, we're sticking the butt out with it. Every time, if if you don't, you, you practice it in the mirror, you probably get it right. When you go on stage, what? Oh, this is great. <laughs> um, what what you think is this? When you do it on stage, it's this. You just do it. The stage does that. The nerves of the stage, the lighting, the heat, the crowd. You overdo it. There's little kids and there's and and the and is, is and you're we're, we're trying to judge their small girls. Come on. Can I just say it? We're trying to judge your physiques. You don't want to look like a whore on stage. That's what Jerry's getting at. That's what I didn't say it. I didn't say it. No. We're trying to judge your physiques. So we're looking for symmetry. So everything you do, we want to see symmetry. Okay? So I want you to have that in mind. A lot of it has to do with, again, Practicing without the mirror, practicing videotaping, going over and over and over again until you get it right in your seat. You're posing. Every, we, we, at work, when you go into the bathroom, you should do poses before you go to the bathroom, right? You do all the time, right? Around the house, you go to cook. You're posing. Every chance you get to pose, you should pose. It should come naturally. Think Karate Kid, think Mr. Miyagi, okay? You should be doing this all, you should do it all the time. It should be a natural thing that you do. What we try to tell the girls when we come in to pose in, try to hit the pose with your eyes closed, then open your eyes, look in the mirror, does it look right? If it doesn't look right, try it again. But do it with your eyes closed because you don't have mirrors on stage to be able to gauge right. how you look. So if you can do it, if you can feel it with your eyes closed and you open your eyes and you're like, damn, I got it. Well, then you have it then. Mm -hmm. So then you won't have to worry about it on stage. You got it there. You got it on stage. It shows, too. In three practices, it shows. If you don't run up pose, you're up there. You're shaking. You're, you know, you're deleting and your you bars and all that. It shows. So always remember the judges are always looking. A lot of times we'll have huge classes, 15 people. So we'll put seven people back and have eight people in front. Mm -hmm. Put seven people in back. It's not time just to hang out. You start right. hard. Yeah. Relax a little bit. I mean, have your own. Let your muscles relax. Don't right. be flexing like crazy. But relax. I mean, get some energy back. Get the glycogen back in the muscle groups. You're going to be coming back out there in front. But just what Lou's saying is, you know. Oh, there's little, also yeah. another fallacy. Um, some of the girl, um, some of the judges, we do train some of the girls that compete. We're not allowed to judge you. So, I, have, I have never judged anybody that I've been to a show. Before. If I put in two or three people into a show, I'm not. 
I'm not allowed to judge that class, so I I can't do that, and neither can that's anybody else. Joe and I, you know, we that, always that's make sure that's why we get they the stopped. And they, and they, they just stopped and judging altogether because that was just becoming an issue. So it. Well, it was becoming an issue now with us. It was it would become Jerry would have me step away from the table physically for my people's classes, right. and then I would have to give somebody else the microphone to do the call out, and I would have to come right. back, and and just. Me having a big X in my paper wouldn't be enough for, well, you know, she, you know, that guy trains it, you know, where he where he must be, you know, cheating the person. He's like, okay, so we just totally stopped judging. Yeah. So. And that's the way it should be done. You go to other shows, you're going to see that. Hometown heroes win a lot. Yeah. Politics are big. It's a, it's a, a big, big thing, story. and a lot of people have these ideas, oh, they're all right. No, not all no. of them. There are some honest shows out there. Yep. And, you know, they're, they're well, going to be, yeah, then you're going to find the shows that it's funny how, you know, you know, his guys from his own gym, they all won. That's mm -hmm. kind of funny how that worked out. Yeah. It doesn't always work in every show. Mm -hmm. Really research your shows. Research the competitors. See who won. If it's somebody from way out of town that ne does, did, had no clue who the people were that were judging, the guy that won that my show was show from, uh, from another state. The guy that just won my overall, my show I, I promoted. Yeah, and uh, it's just and from Rochester, so you know, it, it's yes, it who has who has questions about anything? Uh, I have two. This is Jeff Vitalis, by the way. He'll be podcasting, videotaping this for free to be fit. Free to be fit. Um, the links will be on Facebook. We can put up on naturalmuscle.com. Um, questions. Um, two concerning bikini. I know Jerry mentioned during figure that the girls move their hair for the back. Does that apply? I for bikinis, uh, for uh, anything. Okay. Okay. Really. So the hair gets moved. Yes. Also, um, I've seen in some shows when the, after the bikini girls pose and they're moved off to the side, a lot of times you'll see them like shift their weight from hip to hip. Like they don't stand particularly still. Is there any? Judgment call on that, or you want to jump on that? That kind of bothers me a little bit because they're doing it so much, you, you, you can't even see what they look like. Right. Um, exactly. I think, again, maybe one, maybe a shift. Understand what we like to see. We like that. I can't say for all organizations. Um, we like to put the we like to put the competition in the competitors' hands. Okay. So if, 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 if you're working on something and you're moving these, and this helps your symmetry, you think it makes you look good. That's what we like to do. We don't want to coach you on stage to, you know, make everybody look identical. We believe in, in, in the skill level set, bodybuilding especially. Okay? So, in other words, don't overdo it. If you overdo something in anything, even in, in bodybuilding, you know, they'll ask for a uh, hands over head abdominal spike one leg. The guy will spike one leg. He might want to hit the other one. That's a good idea. To go back and forth six times, it gets annoying. Okay? So you gotta remember, we need some time to judge you in a position. So shifting once, good idea. Shifting six times, you're moving so much, I can't judge your position. No. Does that the make sense? Time, the only yep. time you should do that is on your own walk. You have your own private single walk. Shift question. as many times as you want. Same thing with bodybuilders. You do the, if you pose on your team, whatever you think makes you feel yourself look better. Yeah, exactly. You do what you want on your walk, but there are mandatory poses when you're up there for prejudging. And those are the only poses we want to see. We don't want, you know, chest, you know, bending over like this and, you know, blowing kisses. Blowing kisses thing, that just freaking kills me. I don't think you've seen before. I never said anything. Uh, uh, hello, you yeah. didn't pay attention at your last show. Oh, there were two, two or three girls that did it. You know who I'm talking about. Well, yeah, there was really a girl there really that just said, yeah, well, we'll watch the We'll watch the show because <laughs> somebody taped it and it was not a good show. Any other questions? Yeah. Like, when you said you like, uh, start with you call out the head of double bicep or something, is that when you talk about prejudging or you're talking about the at night pre or pre both? Prejudging. Pre prejudging, pre you're lining up with your class, yeah. uh, the head judge, my show is Jim, he'll call a pose, everybody can hit the pose. Um, not that I'm trying to sell this either. My clients, our posing starts next week, Sundays. Bodybuilders, 7:45. Um, figure bikini, 8:30. Right? 7:45 and 8:30, um, which is a little later than usually. Uh, anyone that's not our competitors or my, one of my clients, we charge 15 bucks. You walk in, I think it'll benefit you. 
You don't have to come every week. Come whenever you want. But it's a, it's always going to be here. It's always going to be on a Sunday morning before our, our work day starts. Six weeks out. Six weeks out. We're, so we we're starting to start six weeks Jerry, out. I think it's five weeks of Jerry's show, six weeks of my show now. Exactly. Again, naturalmuscle.com has, we, we have a video of prejudging. You can get an idea. Do you have an individual prejudge or is it always in a group? Or do you do an individual? Prejudging is with your weight class. It's so with your class. class. We'll yep. go over all this. Right. Don't worry about and it. And then um, I can't stress enough, practice, practice, practice at home. Because you can tell the ones that do practice at home, and then you see the ones that haven't touched their shoes in a week. Mm-hmm. You just... You have to practice, or you're not going to get better at it. You're not going to be more comfortable because the more comfortable you feel at practice, the much better you're going to look on stage because you're going to look confident. You're going to just stand there with confidence. Time to go. Yeah, I got to go. Um, any other questions? Yeah. Uh, again, concerning bikini, um, should the girls' hands be more in a relaxed pose? And sometimes you see when they point their fingers out. In one direction, is there a, you know what I'm talking about? Sometimes they kind of, does it well, matter? Really judging hands, per se. Okay, so, I mean, right now, thinking about it, when I'm looking at physique, usually it ends here. Okay, but doing something that can be distracting, you know, could be an issue. I, got I mean, mostly they're, they're, they're kind of, their fingers are kind of out. I remember um, working um with a routine with the dance choreographer, and it was jazz hands. Anybody know what jazz hands are? Okay, all right, no, so I'm not alone on this, right? But my daughter's like dance, so, so I know about this. And jazz hands, because I was always like doing this. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, it, it looks cool. She's like, no, jazz hands. Um, so I think keeping your fingers out is more, I mean, you know, bodybuilders, you know, they're, they're always pumped up, but I would say keeping the fingers extended. Um, speaking Relax, of- Relax, don't be like, <laughs> with um with the bodybuilding and the prejudging, aren't you above your question level for any of you? Really, I get like three. I know. Three questions. I, I I I get this asked a lot from from people is in the prejudging the relaxed pose. Um, you're never was, really relaxed. You're never really relaxed, but can you be? You know, um, I know some guys. I mean, are you actually doing a last spread? You're doing a laster with your arms down, you're squeezing your well, butts. <laughs> you He's got bigger laps than And you have a shitty grin on your face. You we judge you, and then we look at you. We're looking at you from ground up. That's a great, this is a great right. idea right here. Right. 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 Now, now, I'm going to show you the last clip. Here's nothing. Yeah. Okay? There's no symmetry. Okay? We'll do it, do it. Bring it, bring it, bring it. your arms really down. That's not helping him at all. Okay? So, guys, don't try to pretend you're Kai Green and like, Look at me. I can talk. You know, you can't. I mean, be symmetrical to your physique. Don't worry about it. Some guys might have bigger left. That's not the issue. Right. But having it proportional, what Lou did right there was perfect proportion for his physique. Um, and Lou's going to, well, I mean, I'll, I'll give an example. Lou, Lou will show you the pose. But example of, like, getting into a pose, bodybuilding wise, okay? So we'll go for a front double bicep. Now we'll see, we'll, we'll see, like, you know, it's guys. Lou, Lou, I'll say, okay, front double bicep. Right. No. Okay, right there. He took a little bit of time, you know, did a little bit. That's okay. You're getting the guy for a front, he'll be relaxed. Now. <laughs> so I didn't say relaxed. He just, see, he knows. He wouldn't relax until I said it. You get guys who do this, front of bicep, and they'll be like. <laughs> <laughs> then Jim says, relax. Yep. You know, and, and they're waiting, on, they're taking all this time. It's okay to do a side chest and kind of reach out and then pull back. That's good. I think that helps. Going overboard, taking too much time, it, it's, it's going to hurt you. There's no other way around it. It's going to hurt you. Now, and for bikini and figure, pretty much you're getting right into it. And a lot of girls like to take the arm and go back. That's okay. Just don't make a big production out of it. And know, know your poses. Because we're out there judging you. We're watching us. He calls a shot, and you're looking over at everybody else. <laughs> My first show, they called the overhead victory pose. That was made for, I didn't know what that was. Remember that? And I had to look at the guy next to me, and that's the pose Sergio Oliva did with his hands over like this, with nobody can look at him. We're not that right. size. Yeah. <laughs> Any other questions besides for Jeff? <laughs> I do have another one. All right, Jeff, one more question. Yeah. In, in your particular federation, uh, uh, the NMA, do you, would you say that you have a preference or that the judging leans in bodybuilding leans more toward size or leanness any any opinion on that you've got to be i'd rather you be a little flat than a little fat so um 
We won't say and the skinny guy wins or the uh, tails the fat guy wins. You've got to be in shape. So if you got a guy, as a competitor, I'm afraid of the guy in the sweatsuit that I can see his 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 jaw as he's chewing gum that looks small. That's a guy I'm afraid of because I know that guy's in shape. I see a guy that looks big in a sweatsuit. I'm like that guy didn't die hard enough. I'm not scared of him. You know, you got to be in shape. Bodybuilding, you have to be as hard as you possibly can. To not be skinny, but you can't have any extra body fat. And say, hey, I should be the guy I'm bigger. Yeah, you're bigger, but you're not in shape. And, you know, it's funny you brought that up because someone told me once that never worry about the big guy because the big guy is always smooth. And I remember going to a contest, uh, the Hercules, and my buddy were talking. Yeah, you know, so Joe told me, you know, don't worry about the big guy. The big guy is always smooth. The big guy was kind of great. So, uh, <laughs> you know, that didn't hold. <laughs> <laughs> okay, once was it? I about it. Yeah, let's put it. Any other questions? Questions about actually, uh, when you guys take off, uh, Mike. Yeah. Mike has supplement samples. Um, I the white yeah, he's the white yeah. Yeah. No, I got you. A little yeah. bit. A little bit. <laughs> uh, he's got some supplement samples, complete with plastic baggies to put them in. Um, we got uh, pre workouts stuff like that, so. We'll Take you guys to give you another piece of advice about, and I don't know what contest you're getting into. I got the Olympic. We got flyers, Charles got his stuff. Naturalmuscle.com. Please feel free to email us. Okay, Joe, and I will say this: um, is as far as I'm concerned, this is the top trainer in natural bodybuilding today. I'm not saying because he's my friend. I'm saying because he is. If, if I were to use anybody, it would be him. I would recommend that. If anything, at least the diet, and nutrition, he's very, 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 very good at what he does. Um, but if you have questions, again, you know, don't feel, you know, feel free to email us. We'll assist you in any way we can. We get back to people um, immediately. If anyone knows how we are, that's why we're that's why I pass the phone all the yeah. time. So, I know it's funny. Yesterday, I was I was I was riding my mountain bike, and I was using my headphones, and, and a call came in. I'm actually answering the competitor's call because I had that mic thing. I didn't even know I had it. I just pressed the button and it worked. And I'm riding I'm riding some trail, and you know, and I'm answering bodybuilding questions. It was bizarre. Um, but as far as if you are getting ready for a contest, prep early. You know, let it, let the you know enter. Not you don't get to too early, but at five to four weeks out, you should be getting ready to enter and get your stuff in. Why? It makes our jobs tremendously easier. Our objective is to do what's best for the competitor. End of story. So if I got seven figure competitors in a novice division, I'm going to have one novice division. That's kind of our rule. All of a sudden, the day you know, before, and, 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 we order, and I order enough awards, but sooner or later, we have to say, box it all up, get it ready for shipment, right? It has to go out. Day before, I get three to enter. I don't want to put 10 people in one class. I want to split it. But at this point, think about how miserable our lives are getting, saying, well, we got to make up an overall. we got to make up another set. we got to change this. You want to run a show properly. In order to get them, we always show, order enough awards where we just have them left. But it's not the so, issue because the main issue is if you ever had a show that started an hour and a half late and went five hours long, we start on time. We're done in two and a half hours max, maybe three if it's a big show. That happens because all our work and everything is pre-done before the show. Those that don't do that, they do none of this. I work sleep 15 to 20 hours total a week of my show, and I'm, I'm more, more of I do it all. The week before that, I'm, I'm more neurotic about him. So that week of, I get a little bit of a break, a little bit. In order to run a show properly, you need to do 30 hours of work to save 30 minutes of time. It's just that way. These other promoters, I'm not trying to knock them down, but that's what they don't do. You can help us by entering your stuff early because now I want to make as many classes, as many divisions as possible. So does Joe. We want to give out as many big trophies, everything we can do. We want to make it run as efficient as possible. But we got it. the only way to do that is to know if you're entering or not. Questions on anything? Okay, Mike's gonna give you guys some supplement some samples. Suntan City, grab a bag. We got posters, flyers for all the shows, all right here. And thank everybody for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.